Welcome back to Fast Money. There is a building boom breaking out, but it's not happening in your backyard. It is happening in a fake world called the metaverse. So Virtual real estate is a way for those companies to buy the land, the pixels, the parcels inside those games. You can generate revenue by selling advertising, is that correct? You can generate revenue, you can charge rent, you can sell space for advertising, you can build a museum and charge admission. There's really no end to the things you can do. Decentraland is the first game of its kind, a virtual world where the community gets to vote and decide on how it changes and grows in the future. There is no central entity that controls the fate of this game. And what makes it really unique is that there's over 43,000 equally sized pieces of land that are owned and traded by people like you and I all over the world. Landowners are then free to build anything they want on the land that they own. And it gets way more interesting. And before you ask yourself, why would I pay money to own land in a video game? I think the better question to ask is, why are other people paying money to own land in a video game? Check this out. Every piece of land you see listed here has sold for over $5,000. And this connected set of three blocks of land right here just sold for $78,000. And this is all within the last 48 hours. All right, let me paint the picture for you, right? So it's 2 p.m. on a Saturday inside Decentraland. Elon Musk just had a virtual Tesla talk inside this tall building. And now that it's finished, over 5,000 people spill out into the street. And the first thing they see is this billboard right here. That's over 5,000 pairs of eyeballs staring directly at an advertisement. Kicker number one, this billboard ad is clickable and can take players directly to the ad's website. Kicker number two, you can own the land that this billboard is sitting on. That's right, somebody owns this very block of land, they built the most simple billboard on it, and now they can make passive income anytime someone buys ad space. It's their land, so they keep 100% of the money. You know what? Let's buy a billboard ad for DeFi Donut right now in the game Decentraland. All right, so I click on the billboard and we go to their website. All we do is paste a link to our ad's image. Then we select the time frame. Um, let's just say I'll rent the billboard for one day. All we have to do now is choose what crypto to pay with. Let's go with ETH. And just like that, whoever owns this stupid virtual land that you probably thought was worthless has just made passive income from owning virtual real estate. And honestly, this is only scratching the surface. Let's show you guys some really, really cool ways that people are monetizing their land. Before we continue, let's look at why people would want to own land in the real world. Number one, finite amount of space plus a growing population only means that land can get more valuable, right? Number two, advertising opportunities, uh, billboards, banners, TVs. I mean, you've seen Times Square. Number three, speaking of Times Square, businesses love heavy foot traffic and eyeballs, right? They just want to get seen. And lastly, not to mention any business, whether a pizza shop or a fitness center, needs land to build their business on top of, right? And more times than not, it's way cheaper to rent some land instead of buying it. Guess what? The exact same reasons drive demand for virtual land. It's the same humans wandering around in the real world who are also wandering around in the virtual worlds. And I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, forget buying, who in their right mind would rent virtual land, right? Well, hold that thought because websites like Rentable are literally a leasing agency for virtual real estate. Like all you really have to do is just browse and choose the property that's within your monthly budget. Make sure the length of the lease is what you need and the location is good. And also there's a security deposit just like in the real world where if you're late on paying the rent for the following month, then you lose that deposit. And then soon as you pay for your first month's rent, the land is yours to do whatever you want with, right? Host an event, deploy a game, sell merchandise in a virtual store, Take your pick. Okay, this sounds cool and all, but how do I know the video game creators won't keep making new land or somehow make my land less valuable? Well, here's the thing. In Decentraland, the game developers don't have the power the community does, right? In crypto, we call this a decentralized autonomous organization or a DAO for short. Let me explain what that means. See, Decentraland is unlike any other game we're used to. Any changes in the game can only happen through a community vote. And how is voting power determined? Well, I'm glad you asked. So for every block of land that you own, you get 2,000 voting power units, giving landowners in the game undiluted voting power, which is pretty cool. And if you don't own any land, you can still vote by owning the Decentraland native currency, which is mana. 
all you have to do is submit it to the proposal so that it can be held until the vote is over and for each submitted mana coin you get one voting power unit with that being said obviously i think landowners and players alike will vote in favor of their own interest so worrying about an evil developer takeover i think is a little far-fetched oh and not to mention that all 43,000 private land parcels have been bought up for some time now and you can only purchase land on the secondary market no more will ever be created unless an extremely large part of the community decides to vote on it in the future but i think it's very unlikely all right so here's the really cool part every block of land is represented by an nft token that sits in somebody's wallet this token is like a deed to a house you see nfts aren't only for art what does this mean Basically that you can transfer, sell, or buy land seamlessly and instantly on any NFT marketplace anytime you wish with anyone in the world. Only if selling land in real life was this easy. In Decentraland, you'll notice that land is bought and sold directly with the mana token. Sales aren't limited to this token, but it kind of became the norm over time, so everybody prices their land in mana. The awesome part of Web 3.0 is that your crypto wallet is your login right there's no emails no sign up links just click connect wallet and you're in the game that being said there is no extra steps you need to take after you purchase a plot of land it doesn't matter what marketplace you purchase it from the nft token goes right into your wallet and when you're logging into the game your crypto wallet tells decentraland what tokens are in there so the server instantly knows what land you own in the world unlike most of the nft art that you've seen land ownership isn't just for social status you can monetize your land in any creative way you can think of. How about partnering with a real world pizza franchise? You can literally set up an order booth in the game, have people pay with crypto and order a pizza to their real life address, all without leaving the game. Or how about deploying one of the many public apps onto your land like this first person shooter right here and charging people to play? Or how about creating an NFT gallery and taking a percentage of every sale? From paid virtual events to virtual pop-up shops to simply being a digital landlord, there's so many options and I think more options in the metaverse than there are in the real world. And that is pretty exciting. At the end of the day, no matter what brand, company, or celebrity wants to be a part of this game in any meaningful way, they will have to rent land from somebody or buy it themselves. Finally, a game that has an entire economy that revolves around real money and it's not frowned upon to buy and sell or even trade things within that game. Amazing things are happening in the metaverse and I've honestly only scratched the surface here. In my opinion, the metaverse and everything attached to it is going to be the hottest topic in crypto this summer. So expect more Decentraland videos in the future because I've done a lot of research and we have a lot to explore together. See you guys soon.